think I want to start every video as in today we're talking about, but I feel like we can't. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe we can cut it out. Maybe it will become my tagline. People who know me know I'm kind of addicted to conserva. It's something that I always have in my pantry, but I generally have anywhere between 10 and 15 tins. I never want to be without it, but it's definitely one of those fantastic things that you can kind of just open up on a weeknight if you don't have a lot of time for a meal and you can make a really beautiful kind of composed snack or dinner. If you've ever visited Spain or Portugal, you probably know about tin fish. It's a uh, tradition in these regions because some of the best and kind of freshest seafood comes from Portugal and from Spain. In Lisbon especially, it's definitely a community built on fishing um, with all of these beautiful, uh, really various forms of seafood that fishermen are going out and catching that day, serving in markets there. And they figured out a way to be able to kind of preserve the freshness in these fish by canning them. And that way you're able to transport them, have them during the off season. And for me, it's kind of one of the freshest ways to get fish, especially in an inland area, because a lot of times the fishermen are going out fishing um, for, you know, mussels or for mackerel that day. And they're bringing them back, bringing them directly to the canneries and canning them that day or the next day. So instead of being transported fresh and kind of frozen, it's really the encapsulating the spirit and the magic of these cities into these little tins and getting seafood to you in really the freshest, most beautiful, pure form possible. Tinfish, I think, can be a little bit intimidating. I know the first time I um, was ever kind of presented with a tin of fish, I really was only used to growing up eating maybe just tuna. So seeing kind of things like little octopus or pulpo in a tin was maybe a little bit kind of scary or intimidating at first. But it was through experiences like composing these beautiful little tins of fish into toasts, into more kind of composed dishes, is where I really started to fall in love with conserva. So we're definitely pretty obsessed with conserva here at Daedalus. We have an epic spread of conserva that we've curated, um, primarily from Portugal and from Spain. And for me, there's kind of three main components to conserva that I like to add on. Um, certainly you can take, you know, a big crusty piece of baguette and just kind of go into the tin. But I always think that having three elements really helps to elevate um, these tin fish super quickly. So I like to have a little bit of acid. So that can be in the form of lemon. It can be kind of a pickle or a brine. So in the case of these mussels, we have an escabeche, which is this kind of pickly, briny, vinegary liquid that it sits in and it kind of marinades in. Or it could be kind of a little squeeze of lemon on your toast, some fat. So again, that can come in the form of olive oil that might be existing kind of in the tin. I like a really thick smear of aioli. This one has a lot of garlic in it, so it kind of helps to elevate those flavors. And then some sort of kind of like bright um, green quality that helps to, I think, kind of bring the tin fish a little bit back to life. So here I have a salsa verde. I love just a pile of fresh herbs. So whatever you have in your kitchen, whether it's cilantro or basil, just kind of really lightly dressing that in some olive oil and a little bit of vinegar and adding it to the conserva can really take it to a whole new level. Papara peppers are another bit of that kind of vinegary punch um, that I always have on hand at my house for various things, but certainly for tin fish. And that's a beautiful way to kind of mix and match and be able to create these really beautiful little spreads. Another reason I always love conserva um, is because it's a super quick uh, meal. So I'm generally very busy during the day and even in the evenings. And so if I don't have time to go grocery shopping, I always have a lot of tin fish at my house. And it's also great for kind of entertaining. So if you have a surprise guest that's coming over and you want to have a little something to snack on, popping open one of those cans using whatever herbs you have in your fridge, you know, some lemons or acid, that you have around and a little bit of, you know, olive oil or aioli is a really quick kind of simple appetizer, or you can also turn them into a meal by tossing, you know, some pulpo with pasta and olive oil and really making a beautiful composed plate in minutes.